good morning students welcome to my biology class in the previous classes we have all studied about the different types of organ systems for example respiratory system reproductive system immune system digestive system nervous system etc this this year we are studying about nervous system the what is the function of nervous system how is it made of the function of nervous system is to control and coordinate all the functions of our body then how is it made of it is made of specialized cells called neuron like other cells neuron is also having cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus but certain other structures are also there for a neuron now we discuss about the different type different structures of this neuron the main part of the neuron is the cell body with the nucleus this is a cell body with the nucleus and numerous branches are arising from it these branches are called dendron these are the dendrons see these are the dendrons cell body with the nucleus this is the main body of the neuron and numerous branches are arising from the dendron these branches are called dendrites that means the branches of dendrons are called dendrites these are the dendrites this is dendron these are the dendrites and longest dendron one of the dendrons is longer than others this longest dendron is called axon this is the axon longest dendron is called axon and branches of axon are called axonite listen these are the axonites these are the axonites the branches of axon are called axonites and the axonites and in swellings these swellings are called synaptic nerve these are the synaptic nerve swellings at the tip of the axonite are called synaptic nerve this is about the structure of neuron the listen once more the main part of the neuron is the cell body with the nucleus and numerous branches are arising from this these branches are called dendrons and the branches of dendrons are called dendrites and one of the dendrons is longer than others so this longest dendron is called axon this is the axon axon and the branches of axon are called axonite these are the axonite and the axonite ends in swellings called synaptic nerve see these are the synaptic nerve here synaptic nerve and the axon is covered with a sheath made of lipid made of schwann cells this is called myelin sheath see this covered axon is covered with a sheath lipid coating is called myelin sheath the function of myelin sheath is to provide oxygen and nutrients to the axon and to enhance the speed of impulse through the axon and protect the axon from external injury these are the functions of myelin sheath that protects the axon and how is nerve impulse transmitted from one neuron to another or transmission of nerve impulse from one neuron to another then what is stimulus the change in the external environment is called stimulus for example heat cold etc these are called stimulus here this dendrite receives stimulus here stimulus and transmit it to the dendron that means the impulse is given to the dendron from the dendron the impulse is given to the cell body cell body and from the cell body the impulse is passed through the axon the longest dendron is called axon and from here the impulse is given to the axonite the branches of axon are called axonite and ultimately the impulse is given to the synaptic nerve the tip of the axonites are called synaptic nerve and here we study the transmission nerve impulse in for the detail then here the stimulus is received by dendrite then these are these are dendrites stimulus is received by the dendrites and is given to the dendron from the dendron it is given to the cell body with the nucleus and from here it is given or passes through the axon here this is arrangement of ions in the axon and they on either side of the plasma membrane this is a plasma membrane plasma membrane on either side of the plasma mem membrane there is a distribution of ions ions means positively and negatively charged ions and positively charged ions are seen on the upper side of the plasma membrane 
and negatively charged ions are seen on the lower surface of the cell membrane and when the seamless impulse passes through the axon what happens there is a rearrangement of ions rearrangement that means when the impulse passes through the neuron the negatively charged ions can be seen on the upper surface of the plasma membrane and the positively charged ions can be seen on the lower surface of the plasma membrane in this manner the impulse is transmitted from one neuron to the another and here there is a rearrangement of ions so it is called electrical impulse because of the rearrangement of ions this impulse is called electrical impulse and as it reaches the synaptic knob synaptic knob so this impulse is given to the synaptic knob by the rearrangement of ions and when the impulse is reach impulse reaches the synaptic knob a chemical is secreted to the gap gap between adjacent neurons this is a gap between adjacent neuron this is a synaptic knob it is given here synaptic knob see synaptic knob when the impulse reaches the synaptic knob a chemical is secreted to the gap gap between adjacent neuron here the chemical is given to the synaptic this region is called the synaptic cleft synaptic cleft from synaptic knob the impulse the here it is called electrical impulse this electrical impulse is given to the gap that gap is called synaptic cleft these these are called neurotransmitters these chemicals the chemicals secreted from synaptic knob synaptic knob are called neurotransmitters chemical are chemicals it is called acetylcholine and from here from the synaptic cleft is a chemical impulse now when the impulse is given to the synaptic cleft it is called chemical impulse because of the neurotransmitters and from the synaptic cleft the impulse is given to the dendrite of adjacent neuron next neuron see the figure here this is adjacent neuron dendrite of adjacent neuron in this manner impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another the listen once more then the dendrite receives stimuli from dendrite the impulse is given to the dendron from the dendron impulse is given to the cell body this is cell body and from here impulse is transmitted in the form of electrical impulse electrical impulse means there is a arrangement of ions ions means positively and negatively charged ions so when the impulse passes through the neuron there is a rearrangement of or difference in the arrangement of ions that means positively and negatively charged ions they are rearranged and by the rearrangement of these ions the impulse is passed from the from one neuron to the adjacent neuron and as it reaches the synaptic knob a chemical is secreted to the gap here there is a gap gap between adjacent neuron this gap is called synaptic cleft to the synaptic cleft the neurotransmitter or chemical is secreted and from here again the impulse is given to the dendrite in the form of electrical impulse again in this manner the impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another here we are discussing about the uh, different parts of the nervous system we have already studied about the uh, function of nervous system the function of nervous system is to control and coordinate various functions of our body so the nervous system consists of mainly two sections nervous system consists of nervous system nervous system consists of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system these are the parts of nervous system central nervous system and peripheral nervous system then central nervous system consists of brain and the spinal cord central nervous system consists of two parts the brain and spinal cord these are the parts of spinal cord these are the parts of central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial nerves and spinal nerves cranial nerves cranial nerves and spinal nerves what is the our cranial nerves cranial nerves are the nerves arising from the brain that means 
the nerves arising from the brain are called cranial nerves and the nerves arising from the spinal cord are called spinal nerves there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves then is once more this is a classification of nervous system nervous system is classified into two two sections or major sections there are central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system consisting of brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system consists of cranial nerves and spinal nerves so there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves then uh, students you listen once more uh, today we have discussed about uh, the main organ system nervous system the main function nervous system is to control and coordinate all the activities of our body it is made of specialized cells called neuron this is a neuron this is structure of neuron like other cells neuron is also having cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus here this is a structure of neuron the main structure of neuron is the cell body with the nucleus and numerous branches arising from this these branches are called dendrons and the branches of dendrons are called dendrites these are the dendrites the branches of dendrons are called dendrites and one of the dendrons is longer than others called axon and the branches of axons are called axonites and axonite ends in swellings called synaptic knob here axon is covered with a lipid covering called myelin sheath made of one cells is a special cells by which the myelin sheath is made of then uh, transmission nerve impulse how is nerve impulse transmitted from one neuron to another what is stimulus the change in external environment is called stimulus heat cold etc or stimulus if anybody touches you you can feel it very quickly by why because of the transmission of nerve impulse as it reaches the brain we can feel it if there is no connection between the nerves we cannot see it we cannot feel it so how is nerve impulse transmitted from one neuron to another then you listen stimulus is received by dendrite from dendrite it passes to the dendron from dendron to cell body from cell body the impulse passes through the axon so when it passes through the axon see there are certain ions distributed on either side of the plasma membrane normally positively charged ions can be seen on the upper surface of the plasma membrane and negatively charged ions can be seen on the lower surface of the plasma membrane and when the impulse passes through the neuron there is a rearrangement of ions that means the upper surface becomes negative charged ions and the lower part becomes positive charged ions only at the time of passing impulse and from here it again to the adjacent sides like this it is transmitted and these are called electrical impulses and as reaches the synaptic knob neurotransmitter chemical is circuited to the synaptic cleft example acetylcholine and from here again the electrical impulse is given to the dendrite in this manner the nerve impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another here we are discussing about the different or classification of nervous system so nervous system is divided into two that means central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system consisting of brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial nerves and spinal nerves cranial nerves are of 12 pairs and spinal nerves are of 31 pairs okay students i think you have already studied everything regarding the nervous system okay thank you